How are fire ants like ketchup? It's not a riddle, it's physics. Some materials are solids, some are liquids, but some, like collections of fire ants, have properties of both. A study out of the Georgia Institute of Technology has found that groups of fire ants have viscoelastic properties. Like a soft-set jello, they spring back when poked, but can also ooze like a fluid. This is actually the latest ant-related research out of Georgia Tech. An associate professor from Tech's School of Mechanical Engineering, Dr. David Hu, has been studying ant behavior for nigh on 10 years. Why why would a mechanical engineering expert be so interested in insects? It turns out that ants, and particularly fire ants, have an incredible capacity to work together in ways that mimic different materials. They can use their own bodies to build bridges and even form living rafts when floods hit, letting the colony float to safety. So working with the School of Physics, Dr. Alberto Fernandez Nieves, who and the rest of the team scientifically tested the mechanical properties of fire ants, both living and dead, using a rheometer. This is a machine that studies the behavior of soft materials. Soft materials are structurally interesting because they have both elastic properties, like solids, meaning that if you push them, they snap back into shape, and viscous properties like liquids, meaning that they can flow. Rheometers test the combination, the viscoelastic properties, of stuff like plastic gels, toothpaste, and baby food. When you put a bunch of fire ants in a rheometer, they go with the flow. Though they try to lock together like a springy solid, eventually they all let go and flow like a liquid to prevent injury. You can also see this when you gently smoosh a ball of fire ants and watch them puff back into place, like a tasty snack cake of pain. And, contrary-wise, when you drop a penny into a tube of ants and watch them melt around it, like a fondue pot of pain. But it's nice to have precise rheological numbers on this behavior. That's all the ant material science we've got time for now, but be sure to check back at now.howstuffworks.com every day for more now, later.